now you know the importance of showing up for a business but you still feel a little bit icky right so most of all it's important to start and as an introvert i know i know that you get overthinking trying to have all things perfect right i know i know this happens but it's very important to start today i'm going to talk about four areas that for me are crucial to develop so you can show up with confidence for your business hi beauty i'm andrea your personal brand mentor and i help introverts female entrepreneurs showing up with clarity and confidence so they can make an impact and stop hiding behind their business. As I told you before, in my late teens and beginning of adult age, I was suffering with severe anxiety to be on camera. And to be on camera at the time, it was only taking pictures, but every time a friend, uh, mostly in friends' gatherings, every time person would come uh, towards me with a camera to take picture I would feel very anxious nervous get all sweaty feeling like a tornado in my belly and uh, very nauseous and it, I would up uh, I would up uh, crying it was a really a really mess to be honest and I only telling this because it's important to address because now you see me like this and it wasn't like this every time it, <laughs> it wasn't period so and and the worst is that people would think that i would make that to grab attention and as an introvert this couldn't be more far from the truth so when i started my first online business i was in the recovering process of the anxiety and uh, adding to my introversion it made uh, a big negative impact on my business and i didn't shop for the three three first years of my business but then i started to look around and i saw i saw many people that would have uh, poor offers and lack of uh, knowledge lack of uh, skills and they were out there showing up for their business and they were reaching people and they were selling more and this was my turning point because i knew the value of the the things the jewels i i made the jewels at, at the time i knew the the value i was bringing and the, the quality i was bringing and if I wasn't having the results I wanted. It wasn't because of other people. It was because of me. It was because of me not being out there and showing up. So during the following years, I started to invest in myself and I gathered the, the knowledge, the tools, so I could be more confident showing up. And I can tell you that it wasn't an easy process, but and again i made lots of mistakes but when i started to shop i started to see the difference and uh, women started to recognize me they were able to to give an actual face to the jewels i created to the brand uh, to the jewels brand i had and uh, they started to, to relate with me through my personality, my, my tastes, my values, my preference. And uh, they could see that there was a real person behind the brand. With time, it brought me also uh, authority because they understood I was not there only to sell, uh, to make and, and sell the, the jewels. I was providing them value and often they reached me, contacted me for wisdom and for advice. Since I gave them prior uh, value, when I launched my uh, collections, my jewels collections, they would trust me to invest in me. So, okay, now you have a little bit of background story, but how to show up with confidence in the first place, right? 
We as entrepreneurs need to develop several areas and they will impact on how confident we will show up for our business. And I will cover them in this channel. So if you didn't sign up already, do it now, okay? <laughs> so today I'm gonna cover four areas that for me are crucial to develop. In the future I will cover more, but I want to warn you already that it's very important to understand which areas you need to develop and evolve and it's very important that you schedule time for them because life happens, business life and personal life happens and many times we tend to, to forget and it's very important to understand which area you want to work on and schedule time so you can work on it with intention. Let's start with the four, the four areas. They are mindset, self-knowledge, personal image and communication. This is a mistake I see a lot and I done it myself. And although when you think about showing up is showing the external side, in fact, showing up starts in the inside. It's very important that when, before you start showing up, you go deeply understanding why, why you want to start to show up. It's very important that you understand also the, um, the beliefs and the fears around showing up and uh, do the internal work and turn it around, okay? Make mindset shifts because in the long run, there will be days that days, times, uh, seasons in your business that all goes everywhere and you need to understand why you want to shop. And this also leads to the self-knowledge. Many of us don't know each other in a deep way and although introverts usually have a better understanding of themselves, the truth is that there are several types of introverts and it's important for you to understand which type of introvert you are because it's very easy to go up there and start comparing with, with what others do and uh, if you don't have an understanding of who you are, your values, your beliefs, your boundaries, um, you, how you work, uh, what's your vision of success you may end uh, do, you may end up doing things that are not in alignment with your true self and then you feel icky you feel fake and you feel not worthy and all of those bad feelings that come around and this will impact in a bad way the way how you show up and how you establish your personal brand so having self-knowledge is very important about personal image let me ask you do you still wear the clothes you wore on your late nine to five or you put those in the back of your uh, wardrobe and now it's a uh, leggings all day all week thing having a personal image that speaks your essence it's very important not only because it gives you comfort but also confidence so personal mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. so your personal image tells very much about how you feel and who you are and no you don't need to wear blazers all the time to look professional and you don't need to wear them at all if you don't like them and yes you can wear leggings and still look professional it's a matter of balance and alignment with your personal image and the the image the message you want to convey so start thinking how you want to be seen how you want to dress in a way that's in alignment with your personality communication is a big and complex thing and it needs to be divided in several topics because all communicates and all will impact your communication your mindset your 
self-knowledge, your um, personal image, all communicates. But not only that, also your branding, your offers, your ideal client, your body language, and so many more things. All things matter and all things communicate. Even when you don't show up, you are communicating. Communication is the base of everything. So check tomorrow's video where I will cover branding. And branding also communicates. So now that you know that to shop with confidence, you need to develop several areas, including your mindset, self-knowledge, uh, personal image, and uh, communication. The question is, which of them will you focus first? Let's take some action, shall we? Let's start with internal work. I have some questions for you. How do you feel about showing up for your business? Why do you feel that way? What proofs do you have those beliefs are true? And finally, knowing that it is a waste of time thinking and worrying about things you cannot control, what can you do today to improve and make a mindset shift about the feelings around showing up? So these are the questions I want you to think about. I recap. How do you feel about showing up for a business? Why you feel that way? What proofs do you have that is true? And what can you do today to improve and make mindset shift? Improve your mindset or make a mindset shift around showing up for your business.